Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to talk about a feature of web browsers that has actually been around a very long time, but a lot of people don't really know about it, and it's called Carrot Browsing. Uh, Carrot, spelled C-A-R-E-T, is accessible by pressing the F7 key on your keyboard. This is available in Internet Explorer and Firefox. Chrome, I don't think, has Carrot Browsing, but then again, I haven't used Chrome in a while. It might have it but the last time I did it, I used it, it didn't have it. I haven't used Opera in a while either. I'm pretty sure that has Carrot Browsing as well because that's a pretty old web browser. Not old as in the version is old, it's just been around a while, so I think you have it in there too. But anyway, in, in Internet Explorer and Firefox, it's F7 on your keyboard. This should be universally correct whether you're on Windows OS 10 or Linux. So if I press F7, you get a notice that says pressing F7 turns carrot browsing on or off. This feature places a movable cursor in web pages, allowing you to select text with the keyboard. Do you want to turn carrot browsing on? Now, before I turn it on, I'm going to show you something. Now, while it's true, you can easily select text by doing this. You just take your mouse, go to the beginning of the part you want to select, do this, and then just go down. And if I press and hold my control key, I can take pieces if I want to, like this. And then when I'm done, I let go of the control key, right click and left click copy, and then I can copy it to notepad or any text editor or document editor editor I want to. What happens sometimes when you're actually selecting text is this though, if you have two columns like this, and let's just say you accidentally go to the right, you see what happens here, it selects all this stuff and the uh, your selection gets all messed up. It will go all the way down the left side and then back over to the right. Um, this happens on a lot of different websites. And this isn't a fault of the website, this is a fault of the way things are copied uh, by the browser. That's just a, a technology limitation. You can get over this limitation easily just by using carrot browsing. So if I take my mouse and I'm just going to press F7 and get that notice again and hit yes, uh, I will click right at the end of a sentence here and you'll notice I have a blinking cursor right here. So what I'll do is I'm using my keyboard keys right now and I'm going to hold shift and then press my down key. And this is a whole lot easier and I'm going to keep on going down. It will stay here. It won't jump over here at all. And the same thing works as if I went over here. So I click on the right column and I'll select this. Go down, down, down. See how it's selecting all this text and it's actually staying on the right side. This is pretty cool. So I can select that text and then paste it wherever I want. This is also good for websites that have really that has really small text, like I'm going to just decrease the size. Let's just say it had really tiny text like this and it's kind of hard to select sometimes. Again, turn on the carrot browsing and then just do whatever you want. Let me just put that back to normal size. And uh, that's more or less it. Carrot browsing is for selecting text primarily. You can also use it as a, a method of browsing if you want to, if you happen to prefer the keyboard over the mouse that'll work too, uh, but its primary function is for text selection best. You can imagine it as if you were editing a document but you don't have the ability to type anything but you still want it to act like as if you were in a document editor, that's what carrot browsing is for. If you do a lot of text selection you will find this feature extremely useful and extremely handy. And that's it. Take it easy.